Hey guys, welcome back. Some big news coming in about the Galaxy S22 Ultra. This time, Samsung is planning something huge for its upcoming flagship devices. And we'll talk about the Snapdragon 898 versus Exynos 2200 Geekbench performance. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to get daily new updates and give a like if you enjoy watching this video. So Samsung has completely changed its plan for Exynos and Snapdragon variant whereas now the company has decided to launch S22 series with more Qualcomm chipset instead of Exynos. At least 70% S22 models will come with Snapdragon 898 whereas only 30% models will run on Exynos chip. It seems like only the Europe market will get the Exynos 2200 variants with AMD GPU inside and markets like USA, Korea, African and even Asian will get the Qualcomm Snapdragon devices. This is something that no one expected as Samsung always release more Exynos units every year. Some information from Ice Universe, he says Snapdragon 898's GPU is far more powerful than we expected. Of course, this chipset is based on 4 nanometer fabrication which means less heat and better energy efficiency. So you can expect 30-35% to more gaming performance than the previous CPU. On the other hand, Exynos 2200 also come with 50% more CPU performance than the Exynos 2100. With the new AMD GPU this time, it is going to be a strong competition between both of these models. Talking about the Geekbench scores, Snapdragon 898 got 1163 single core and 2728 in multi core. On the other hand, Exynos 2200 got 1073 in single core, 3389 in multi core performance. But do note that these are early units without final software, so the performance might be changed after the launch. Heating is the one main important point here which will decide which chipset perform better than the other. We all know this year every Android flagship with Snapdragon 888 or with Exynos 2100 release heat quite a lot due to which performance of the phone significantly drops which is not so good for the end consumer and this thing needs to be improved next year. Now comes to the features, the Galaxy S22 Ultra will offer a 6.8 inch display play with 1440p resolution, 2 times dynamic AMOLED panel with 120Hz high refresh rate. So no doubt the display will be best of the best, a beautiful bright colors, deep blacks and great viewing angles. And of course Samsung is well known for its display so there will be no issues in terms of quality. On the back of the phone there will be a flagship quad camera setup which has a main sensor of 108 megapixel, 10 megapixel telephoto zoom lens which can go up to 3x optical, 10 megapixel periscope zoom lens with 10x zoom and at last 12 megapixel ultra wide lens for the wide angle photos. So this camera system will produce good quality images and videos whereas now a new button will be added for 108 megapixel mode in which users can turn on detail enhanced mode to get the full potential of this main sensor. The handset is also said to be backed by a massive 5000 mAh battery which will now support 45 watt fast wire charging, 15 watt wireless charging and 4.5 watt of reverse wireless charging. The smartphone may come with a built-in S Pen like the Galaxy Note series which is a great move by Samsung and die-hard fans will love this integration. So there you go guys, this is the Galaxy S22 Ultra launching next year at best price and great specifications. Let me know in the comment section if you have any question related to the smartphone. If you end up liking this information then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to get more daily updates. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace out.